In this episode, we'll be taking a closer look at a captivating bronze sculpture titled Satan. This remarkable work was created by the celebrated French artist Jean-Jacques Fougere in around 1834. Some say that this piece inspired Rodin's thinker. Welcome to Art, Culture and Books with me, Anthony King. As always, I take all the photos and videos myself on location, ensuring you get an up close and personal view of the fascinating world of art and culture. I'll be popping in and out with commentary as this video progresses, but for now, let's take a close up look. In the heart of Oxford's Ashmolean Museum, visitors encounter a captivating bronze sculpture titled Satan. This sculpture symbolizes rebellion, evil, and temptation. Satan has played a central role in various religious and literary texts, representing the eternal battle between good and evil. The sculpture's exhibition at the prestigious Paris Salon in 1834 added to its recognition, securing its enduring place in art history. It was described there as a personification with plenty of verve and ardour of the evil genius at odds with being powerless. This contemplative figure, steeped in melancholy, embodies the themes that intrigued romantic sculptures. The Ashmolean Museum, founded in 1683, holds the distinction of being the world's first public museum. Named after its benefactor alias Ashmole, an influential English scholar and antiquary, the museum is a testament to its pioneering role in preserving and showcasing human culture and knowledge. This sculpture was donated by Lord Archer through the Cultural Gift Scheme on behalf of himself and Dame Mary Archer. Jean-Jacques Fouché, born in Paris 1807, was a prominent sculptor, renowned for his ability to capture human emotion and form with precision. His artistry often incorporated subjects from mythology and literature, allowing him to explore complex themes. In Satan, he departs from the traditional portrayals, offering a unique perspective that speaks to his innovative approach. What sets Satan apart is the meticulous attention to detail, the texture and intricate features of the bronze sculpture, the subtle emotions etched onto Satan's face, and the intricate rendering of certain elements contribute to the sculpture's overall impact. Bronze, known for its durability and the level of detail it can retain, proves an ideal medium for this work. In the context of art history, Satan holds a significant place. The 19th century was a period of profound artistic exploration and transformation, characterized by the emergence of Romanticism. Artists of this era sought to express deep emotions and explore human nature. Satan, with its complex character, was a popular subject, allowing artists to delve into the darker aspects of human existence. Fouché's sculpture also reflects broader trends in 19th century art. The period witnessed a shift from traditional classical styles to more dynamic and expressive forms. Satan captures this evolution with its intricate details and emotional depth. The 19th century, marked by the Romantic movement, witnessed a renewed interest in exploring the emotional and enigmatic facets of Satan, making this sculpture a fitting reflection of its artistic era. We find that the character of Satan has played a central role in shaping human narratives and belief systems. In the Christian tradition, Satan is often depicted as the embodiment of evil, tempting humanity and leading to its fall from grace. This religious interpretation has cast a long shadow over depictions of Satan, portraying the character as a sinister and malevolent force.
However, Satan's portrayal is not limited to religious contexts. In literature and art, Satan has also been explored as a complex character, capable of evoking both sympathy and revulsion. The Romantic era in particular witnessed a resurgence of interest in Satan as a symbol of rebellion and a figure who challenged the status quo. Artists and writers sought to humanise the character, emphasising the internal struggles and complex motivations that drive the devil's actions. The sculpture portrays Satan in a way that goes beyond the traditional, grotesque depiction of a horned demon. Instead, Satan is depicted as a young, handsome figure with outstretched wings, hinting at his angelic origins and fallen status. This portrayal captures Satan's inner turmoil and conflict, showcasing the devil's beauty, pride and rebellion against the divine. Satan is not only a reflection of its artistic era, but also a testament to the enduring cultural fascination with this character. In various forms of media and storytelling, Satan continues to be a symbol of rebellion, temptation and moral ambiguity. This sculpture, housed in the Asmolean Museum, stands as a compelling representation of the devil's multifaceted nature and its ability to provoke deep emotions and contemplation. You've been joined today by me, Anthony King, but now it's your turn. What are your thoughts on the Satan sculpture? Please like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to hear your comments, thoughts and views below. You can find out more on my website, anthony-king.com, where you can support me by purchasing one of my books.